My name is Margot Thompson. I'm a sister here in Ward 38, which is a urology day surgery unit. We have a 12-bedded unit here, consisting of two male bays and one female bay, and I have a staff of 16. We perform minor procedures here uh, just between Monday and Friday, and in the mornings we uh, perform general anaesthetic uh, minor procedures, and in the afternoon it's more diagnostic investigations. If you were uh, to come in toward 38 in the morning, you would come in about 9 o'clock, and most of the time you're home the same day between 1 and 2. The outpatient clinics the afternoon vary and you could be here from anything between half an hour up to just two hours um, but you're quite fit and well just to go home the same day. And if you do have to come in toward 38 we will endeavour to just make your stay just as comfortable and informative as possible. Hello. I'm Nicholas Cohen, I'm one of the consultant urological surgeons here in the Department of Urology. I'm standing on, uh, ward in Ward 38 and this is where we hold our prostate assessment clinic. Many men in uh, their middle age develop urinary symptoms and uh, often will have a PSA, which is a prostate blood test, performed by their GP. Patients get referred to us for further investigation, often if this blood test is slightly abnormal. When patients come here, one of the tests that we have to consider performing to try and sort out what is happening with the waterworks is a prostate ultrasound scan, and through that we can also do a prostate biopsy. The ultrasound scan uh, has to be done through the back passage, so it's a little uncomfortable uh, and a bit undignified. However, it's not particularly painful. We use a local anaesthetic and most men find that it just takes a few minutes to do and is quite um, uh, manageable. When we take the prostate biopsies, they have to be sent off to the laboratory and then carefully analysed. In the majority of men, a simple benign cause such as enlargement of the prostate or inflammation or infection that's affected the prostate can be diagnosed. However, in a number of men, there may be changes consistent with cancer of the prostate. This requires further tests and will require further discussion as to how best to treat the, the disease. This is where the uh, new urological cancer care centre is going to be very useful, as this will provide a point of contact and a source of information for men and their families who are now having to face up to this diagnosis of prostate cancer. Hello, um, within our Department of Urology we diagnose within any year about 80 or 90 cases of bladder cancer and the vast majority of those um, cases have what we call superficial disease, this is where the cancer is just on the lining of the bladder. Uh, and for these patients they require additional treatment, some of them, and uh, one of the additional treatments is a treatment called uh, bladder chemotherapy, uh, which is given what we call intravesically or into the bladder, and it's given over a six-week course, uh, one treatment per week for six consecutive weeks. Another one of the um, treatments we give is a treatment called immunotherapy, and um, we also give that on a weekly basis for six weeks.